Module 3, Topic A Review. We're going to start with labeling the parts of a fraction. So the top part of the fraction, that we would call the numerator. And then we have the bottom part of the fraction, and the bottom part of the fraction, which is down underneath, the down underneath part is the denominator. They both start with a D, so that should be something that's helpful. Next question. We want to know what part of the fraction tells us how many parts make up the whole. To find out how many equal parts make up the whole, it's the denominator. The bottom of the fraction down under, that is what tells us the amount of equal parts. Okay, and we go down here. In order to make a fraction equal to 1, the numerator and the denominator must be equal. So 12 over 12 equals 1 because 12 divided by 12 is 1. 27 over 27 makes 1 and 39 over 39 makes 1. That line in the middle means division. Now we're going to plot points. Two-thirds. Two-thirds is less than one. It's less than one because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. It tells me less than one. So I know I'm looking between zero and one. The denominator tells me how many pieces I need to split up into. I need to split up into three pieces, which tells me draw two lines. And now I have three equal pieces. And the numerator is a two. It tells me to go to the second line. There we go. And this is at two-thirds. Now we're going to plot 3 eighths. If we're going to plot 3 eighths, we're going to go through. And it's from, we got to look right here. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. So once again, it's between 0 and 1. This time the denominator is 8, so we need 8 equal pieces, which is 7 lines. And we're going to plot over here. The numerator is 3, so we need to go to the third line. And we're going to plot that it's 3 eighths. Next, we're now going to plot 1 and 2 thirds. That 1 and 2 thirds tells me we're greater than 1. So we're between 1 and 2. We want to look at 2 thirds. 3 is the denominator. It tells me to split it into 3 pieces, which is 2 lines. So we have 1, and this 2 tells us to go to the second line. 1 and 2 thirds. Next, we want to write an equivalent fraction. And we've talked about when we're writing equivalent fractions, the easiest thing to do is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2, because we're doing the same thing to the numerator that we're doing to the denominator. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. Then we come over here and do times 2 again. It's always easy to use times 2. So we go times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 8 times 2 is 16. And then 9 times 2 is 18. And 4 times 2 is 8. And those are equivalent fractions. As long as you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Next, we have a mistake here that we fixed in class. We're going to change this fraction to 1 fourth. The first thing that we do, we're going to actually do the solve part first. When the numerators are the same, what we need to do is add, sorry, when the denominators are the same, the first thing we need to do is just add the numerators. So 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 stays the same, the denominator stays the same. We're going to make 4 fourths, which we know is 1. That tells me that my number line can be from 0 to 1. Now we're going to go and we want to split this. The denominator is fourths. So we have this from 0 to 1. And we're going to split it to fourths, which means we need three lines. So we're going to show our jumps. So the first number we have is 1 fourth. So we're going to start here and jump 1 fourth. Now we're going to label it. And then we're jumping three more fourths. So we're jumping 1, 2, and 3 more fourths, which jumps us all the way over to here, which is 1. And that's how we get our answer and show it on a number line.
This time we're going to look right here. 5 plus 3 is 8. Same denominator, so it stays, and it's 8 fourths. Since the numerator is bigger than the denominator, we know we're bigger than 1. That's our answer down here. We also learned that we can say 8 divided by 4, so we know our answer should be 2. So we're going to draw our line, and we're going to make it go from 0 to 2 this time, which means we need another whole number of here, of 1 halfway. Now our denominator is 4, so each whole number needs to be split up into 4 pieces. That's that. And now between 1 and 2, we're going to split it up into 4 pieces. And now we're going to do our jumps. So first we have 5 fourths, so we're going to start here. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths. So we're going to mark that off. And then we see that the next thing we're supposed to jump is 3 more fourths. So we have 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and now I can count. We had 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths. This is 8 fourths, which is also 2. Down underneath, it wants us to express each fraction as a sum, so we need to add of 2 or 3 equal parts. And then we're writing the multiplication sentence. So we're going to do first our sum. I can split 4 up into 2 and we're going to put them all over 7, so we have 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. And down here, it's 2 times 2 sevenths. We did 2 sevenths twice. Over here, we're going to now do this for 12. We're going to do 6 thirds plus 6 thirds. And when we do that, we get 2 times 6 thirds. There is a second answer that you may have used over here. I could have added 4 thirds plus 4 thirds plus 4 thirds. That's still only 3 equal pieces, which works, and we have 3 of them times 4 thirds. And that's our topic A review for Module 3.